Sure. After lots of meticulous setup, Rundeck can automate pretty much everything. But what happens when we don't have the time to do that? Let's take a look. Consider an emergency scenario. Something that probably makes us a lot of money is down. What is the most responsible way for us to get it back up? How do we shoot from the hip without being reckless? Similar to the jobs that Rundeck offers to us, there is a command functionality where we can run one-off commands against a targeted listing of nodes. These commands use the same execution environments that jobs do, and are run with the same guardrails as jobs, but are much more customizable up front. In that same scenario, any sensible retrospective would want to look back at who did what to fix the problem. This is where Rundex activity page comes in handy. Not only do all job runs create activity entries, but all one-off command executions do as well. Using these two functions, let's take a look at how we can use Rundeck in an emergency type of scenario. We start here by going into the demo project. Uh, we can add a new node source, a, a stub type, uh, and this will give us what amounts to a dummy node. The other one I have available is the Rundex server node itself. Uh, this is the thing we actually have a shell command on that you're going to be seeing the output of the commands. Navigating to the commands page, we can see a very similar type setup. Now, it will not let us enter a command until we select the nodes we want it to run on. Now, the drop down will give us the default show all nodes option where we have the local host and the three dummy nodes. Let's just select the dummy nodes for right now. This will report to us that uh, were this to be an actual node, it would have executed this command on the node. It wouldn't tell us what the output would be because frankly, it doesn't know. Uh, now, if we do it against the local node, um, this is actually the details of the uh, container that this Rundeck instance is running within since this is executed on the local node. Now we can see all these. If we go over to the activities section, we can see here where the hello world command was run. Uh, this would be the first one where it was run on the three nodes. Uh, and then lastly, we can see where we're uh, catting the release of the server. We do have the ability to search through this. Um, we can search by the job name, which wouldn't apply for commands. The user who ran it or the filter for the nodes that it was run on. For instance, if I wanted to see the command that I ran on my notes, then I would be able to come up with the correct results. For the ad hoc commands, I can also search for everything that ran the cat Etsy release. And we can see that that's been run three times, once in this demo and two getting ready for it. Lastly, we can search through the results of the command, if it was successful or, or failed, or limit it by the time in which it was ran within the past hour, day, week, etc. With this, we can see how Rundeck allows us to do what we need and audit what we do. If you found that Rundeck has helped you deal with emergency scenarios, or if you have any questions about it, visit us at rcompose.com. And if you're ready to get started with Rundeck, you can also sign up for a free trial of your own Arcompose instance today at rcompose.com.